guys, it's Lena! I hope you're all amazing! And if you're not, I hope my video puts a smile on your beautiful faces and makes you laugh! But excuse the way I look right now because it's Saturday night for me and you know, it's time to be lazy and not dry your hair and pretty much just wear your pyjamas on because yeah! You guys are lucky you get a second video from me this week. And if you didn't know, I have a very good friend of mine named the Otaku Mom, and currently she's doing a giveaway at the moment. And part of the giveaway, she initiated a reverse Q&A by asking us questions. And I wanted to make a video answering these questions because, hey, I thought it would be fun! And definitely you guys can go enter this giveaway. I believe there are some figurines that you can win. And I believe there is an Aaron from Attack on Titan. A big one that you guys can win if you're a fan of Attack on Titan. The Otaku Mom does a whole bunch of different things on her channel. She does giveaways and boxings. Highly recommend you go check her out. So without further ado, let's get into this q and I'm going to be reading the questions off my phone because I couldn't be bothered writing them down. And it's brought to you by my Sailor Moon case, which you may have seen in one of my haul videos. Question 1. How did you find my channel? I found the Otaka Mums channel through my good friend Anime Palooza. I'd seen my friend Gigi from Anime Palooza mention the Otaka Mum in several videos that the Otaka Mum had sent her packages and I went and checked out the Otaka Mum and ever since then I've been hooked on her shit pretty much. Question 2. You have been arrested for a crime you did not commit. Which anime character would you want to share a cell with and why? Now, I could easily say for this, um, one of my man crushes would be from Uta Prince Sama, um, Tokyo Ichino-san. I could definitely say him. Oh man. But no, I've had a new man crush recently, and it would have to be Mr. Nicholas from the anime Gangster. I just think it would be awesome to be locked in a cell with him. Locked in a cell with kind of a deaf person, silent warrior, have it swinging around a giant samurai sword. I really don't see what's not so hot to not laugh about that. I think maybe the language barrier thing of him being deaf, but if I knew sign language then it would be fine. Apart from that, he would make me feel really protected. He would. I find his character to be kind of valiant, but we know that Nicholas, if you've seen the anime of Gangster, we know that he's not exactly the valiant type, but to me he is, and I would feel protected, I would buy him, and you know, if the, you know, the whole trying to talk to each other didn't thing, we would just make out, I think. I feel like I'm pulling an anime palooza right now where I just want to make out with an anime character. Question <laughs> 3. What would be your top three anime that you could rewatch and not tire of? Well, the following three animes I've watched more than two times. First one would be Full Metal Panic. It's just a hilarious anime and I highly have to recommend to anyone that needs a good laugh to go check out that anime. The second one would be Please Twins. I probably have mentioned this anime in another video and I've reviewed this anime. It's one of my favourite love romance comedies of all time. It's just a really fun watch. Third anime would be Say I Love You. That is one of my favourite romance animes of all time. I don't care what anyone says. I freaking love that show. Anime to me is like flawless for romance. You know, it's gonna fix any romance for anybody. Gigi from Anime Palooza, I highly recommend you watch Say I Love You. Question 4. If I made an anime bucket list, what show would you tell me I have to watch before I die? That's a nice way to put it, before I die. And that's a very genius question, to come up with a bucket list. For more people that are giving you answers to this question, okay, well adding to your bucket list, Mr. Otaku Mom, I would definitely highly recommend to you the anime Kyo Karamoya. It is one of my favourite funny animes of all time. It's about a boy named Yuri Shibuya and he gets transported to another world through a toilet. 
I know that sounds really, really weird. And he gets sent to this world called the Demon Kingdom. And he finds out that he is the 27th Demon King of the Demon Tribe. And it's a really long anime. I believe it's more than, oh, I think it's more than uh, 50 episodes. I think you might like this anime because most of the characters are all male. And there's some pretty nice ones, I have to say. And I'm a huge fan of Wolfram. There's big blue eyes and that blonde hair. It's got great comedy and it's got some really great individual characters. So you have to totally see the anime before you die. Question five. Have you ever watched an anime that has changed your perspective on the, on the real world? If so, what was it and how did it change the way you think? Well, to be honest, every anime that I have ever watched, it has always taught me something about life. Um, probably the most recent two that have really struck a chord in me in terms of the, uh, seeing a different perspective on the world would be Akagami Shoryuki Hain from that is airing from the summer season currently. It's probably through the characters of Zen and Shiryuki, just their outlook on life and how they don't want to waste a minute and how that they just want to try and reach their goals with all their might and determination. If you just see the anime and see how they deal with different situations, it just really, really just inspires you. And it definitely has made me see a different perspective on certain things it is. Um, on the aspect of towards your goals and dreams. The other anime is an anime I'm watching currently. It's quite an old anime and no one may have heard of it before. It's called Arjuna. And this anime, I can tell you right now, is going to make you think differently about the world. Anime is probably one of the most fascinating animes I've ever watched from the point of view of pretty much the whole of planet Earth, of how we eat our food, what our food is made of, how certain things we take for granted. This anime just is so flawless on that aspect and I have learned a lot about this anime and I'm definitely going to be reviewing this anime at some point, probably within the next month because I really feel this anime should be, you know, checked out a lot more. It is just really kind of blown me away recently with the, the aspect and the way it's been portrayed of pretty much the whole world. Gen 6, what show would you like me to do giveaways on that I haven't done or would or would like to see me do more often? I probably have four shows that I would love to see be more giveaways. Kenshin, Rurori Kenshin. It's quite an old anime. It's a samurai anime. I just, I've read the manga and seen the anime. I just adore that anime. Second one would be Fairy Tale. That's not hard to find merchandise. Third anime would have to be Yu-Gi-Oh. It was a part of my childhood and I would just want anything with Yame. Fourth one would be Fruit Baskets because again, I would love anything with Kiyo on it uh, or Toru. Question seven, which anime character would you say is most similar to you in personality? I'm gonna cheat here because I'm gonna say two characters because my personality is split two ways. My really nice side, and then there is obviously through my channel that I express through my crazy goofy side. The character that expresses my goofy, crazy side would be Sora Nagino from the anime Kaleido Star. She's such a fun, bubbly, goofy character, I would describe her. She just loves to make people smile, and that's what I really love to do. And that's why I kind of do through YouTube. So the other character that I see my nice side in is actually Lucy from Fairy Tale, funnily enough. Um, we both really cry a lot. I cry a lot. We both really care about our friends a lot and we know our strengths and weaknesses and sometimes we don't like to give up so that's the those traits I definitely see myself in her. Question 8. What's your fave snack food? Ooh, this is... <laughs> well, apparently I'm supposed to be on a diet right now and you know sometimes we all gotta sneak in our delicacies. Probably the two best snack foods I love currently is salted chickpeas and also the amazing UK sweet Haribo, which me and Anime Palooza desperately love, I realised up until now. Question 9. 
Do you have an anime that you can recommend I don't waste my time watching? If so, what and why? The Last Exile. This anime I thought would be really interesting. It's all about flying and aeroplanes. I wanted to watch a different genre at the time. The story is just such a boring, bland anime for me. It was just really slow paced. And I just, just did not entertain me at all. So I would have to say that. Question 10. Give me your best text impression of a fangirl and fanboy. And that's it everyone, that is the Otaka Mums Reverse Q&A. I had really fun answering these questions. Definitely go check out the Otaka Mum and definitely go enter her giveaway. I believe it ends on September 19th, so you have until then to enter her giveaway. So, as always guys, don't forget to subscribe for more craziness and become a part of the Kino family. If you want to keep up with my anime antics, you can follow me on my blog, Lita Kina Anime Reviews. And you can follow me on Twitter at Kino Reviews. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.